Some tears uh, for some Devils fans out at RDU who've got to head back home, but we've got eight commencement ceremonies Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in our area. And then we've got uh, App State, we've got UNC Charlotte, so I know a lot of you heading out of town, a lot of you waiting for people to come in town, a lot of you going to be up late tonight celebrating based on what happened right here behind me. Here's a live look over at PNC where it is 69 degrees. Jordan will be along in the second with highlights of the good news tonight. Meanwhile, here's some better news. Tomorrow is Friday and the weather looks pretty good. We'll be dry. We'll have a few fair weather clouds. It's not going to be perfectly sunny like it was yesterday, but tough to find something to complain about. We'll start the day about 60 degrees. Lunch break, upper 70s on our way to a high of 85. That's southwesterly wind that's going to help to continue to warm us up, but it's also slowly going to add us some humidity, and I think you'll be able to feel a little bit of that as we head into Saturday. And if you've got plans to take this warm weather and head to the coast, I support that decision. Karen's got us beat, though. She was there earlier this week at Indian Beach, and I'm still amazed every night and how long I've been showing these sunsets, five, six years, millions of miles away, and that sun just sets on our horizon and looks like it's right in our own backyard. Great shot there from our coastline. I'll stick this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page just as soon as I'm done. So the weather map's kind of simple. For now, it's going to get a little more complicated this weekend. High pressure, southerly winds. That's about all we've got. That southerly wind, we talked about what that's going to do. This high pressure is going to keep the rain away tomorrow and most of the day Saturday. I say most because there is a chance of rain later on Saturday. Let's zoom through the day tomorrow again. A mix of sun and clouds, but no precipitation. We go from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can see we stay dry. If you are headed west, there are going to be some storms Friday night up and toward the mountains and toward the Charlotte area. We put the maps back into motion. That gets us into Saturday. Some of that rain's gonna head our way. Most of it's gonna fizzle out. So I'm not really concerned about rain. Here we are Saturday morning. We'll keep it dry through Saturday lunchtime. But the second batch of rain, as we get into later Saturday afternoon, some of that rain will make it in here. Here we are at two o'clock. Here we are at five o'clock. So again, it's a small chance, but it's not 100% dry. And then even as we get into late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, we wait on a cold front, that's when we could see some showers and storms. So I've got the chance at 40% Saturday, but not till later in the day. That means Fayetteville State, Shaw, Meredith, Campbell, Barton, you guys are graduating Saturday morning. Weather should be dry if you fare with the clouds, temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Sunday morning, Mother's Day morning, Duke and UNC both graduating at the same time. Would they have it any other way? Probably not. And the weather looks good Sunday morning. Sunday morning brunch for moms, 60s and 70s. But again, we do have some rain to talk about. So after a dry day tomorrow, 85 degrees during the day. Fireworks after the Mudcats game Friday night should be good to go. 87 Saturday, 81 Sunday. So that cold front will cool us off a little. We broke down the rain chances for you. We're going to bring some rain chances back on Monday, too. It's a 40% chance with a high of 77. That is our coolest day on the extended forecast. As you can see, most of next week on your exclusive 10-day outlook keeps our highs in the 80s with a few small rain chances mixed in.